I think young people can be, can be the protagonist and do lots of things. Actually, the way you consume, the way you, you spread out the news, the way you participate in social networks, it all contributes to the companies and ultimately to the governments to make their agenda. So I think uh, normally I say that if my generation has not left a better world for our children, we surely left better children for our world. So I think they are more conscious. So I think that's what the role that they have to play. They should be looking at things as one contribution to be made in every attitude that they have on the day to day. By doing that, I think they are shaping the world of the future. I think we will have to give more dignity to everybody on the planet. That means energy, that means food. And by bringing those things without reaching, without breaking an equilibrium in terms of the environmental problems, in terms of the mobilization and migration of people, I think that's going to be the biggest challenge. Is on one hand, we have a lot to give to people which have no dignity, so to speak. On the other hand, we have lots of, of limitations on what the Earth can provide. So how can we balance those two things? Once the problems in the world will actually require lots of conversation because of the limitations and because of the needs that we have, again, to offer good conditions for several people, I think the United Nations is the forum for us to discuss all those things. Now, we say that actually you're not living in a world of independence when each nation can decide the problems within their own territory. We are living in a world of interdependence, where most of the problems, they really go beyond the borders of any country. Therefore, the United Nations is the right forum for these issues to be discussed. I think when it inspires me for, for many years, exactly because it can bring a forum, it can provide uh, room for people to discuss all these issues which are much bigger than the ones which are inside any country. So having the United Nations and someone who looks at the world uh, in a different manner, things which ought to be discussed because they affect everybody. I recently read the human rights which were written maybe 60 years ago and I was impressed by how updated they are, how broad they are. So I think we have the right goals, the right vision, and that's the forum for people to come and discuss. So I think it inspires exactly because it brings that. It brings a forum for where people can talk about the future, can talk about the big issues, uh, rather than going each one trying to decide a problem which will not solve. We we'll have to b discuss things together because, again, this is not a problem of independent problems. This is a problem of interdependence. Interdependence is totally different and requires a different forum. I think we should know about the dream of someone who makes a donation like that and who thinks that he can build a better world. But interesting enough, is not only the donation he gave, is how to, what destination to be given, how to associate with United Nations, which has many people thinking about which are the biggest issues, many people working on them, many people studying, analyzing. So he made a very important destination of that money. And more importantly, he also found a way to bring other people into this game. So it, he multiplies, it's not only the big donation he made, but also he multiplies that, but have a common destination together with the United Nations, which is the best forum in the world to discuss what are the issues which really affect humanity. It's difficult to say what we are here for in this, in this world, but there is one answer which satisfies me, and that's the one I pass it on. I think we're here to live a better world for people which will come after us. We have to do that systematically, and we'll have surely a better future for everybody.